name is Dr. Erin Cameron, and I'm here to walk you through some of this year's Arkansas All Region and All State Etudes. Today we'll be taking a look at Etude number 11. One of the most common questions I get about this Etude is, how do I play those high notes cleanly and clearly? And the answer that I have for whether you've played high notes before or whether you haven't is to practice your third register slurs. You can find a document with third register slurs on my website. I will put a link to that document um, in the notes below. Um, so if you take a look in the second measure, already we're up at a high F above the staff. Um, so my recommendation would be that we practice a third register slur on that note, making sure to keep our airstream steady and our embouchure the same. We don't want to bite on the high note. Um, so we're going to start on a C sharp D flat. I'll come in so you can see the fingering. We're going to add that register key to go up to A flat. And then for the high F, we're going to lift finger one and add the pinky, this pinky right here. Okay, so let's try that together. I'll play it with you. If you practice that whole page of third register slurs, you're going to find that your high notes come out a lot easier and that etudes like this are much simpler for you to play. Another common question I get is, what do I do about those six slits? Um, so this is in one, two, three, four, five, measure six of the music that you have. Um, and I like to count six lists using the words musical notation. So if you count with me, musical notation has six syllables and so does a six lit. So we would count that measure like this. Ready? Musical notation, musical notation, musical notation four. So if you're struggling with that, that might be an easy trick that'll help you to count that measure a little bit more easily. The last practice suggestion I have for you, and again, this is a great suggestion if you normally practice this way or if you've never heard about this technique, um, it's called cutting the tie. Um, so what I'm gonna do, if we take a look, this is one, two, three, four, measure five of our music. Um, I'm gonna cut the tie to beat two, so I'm just gonna re-articulate on beat two so that I can feel where beat two is uh, really strongly. So this is that same measure with the, with the tie cut. <sighs> And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add the tie back in, and it'll be easier for me to feel where beat two is. Happy practicing, and good luck on your audition.